clap. Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to understand a uh, very important questions. It's a very awesome problem you can say that uh, gives the concept, or you can say it mixes the geometry and hazing uh, techniques in the in this problem, right? So this question has been asked in a uh, uh, weekly contest 159 on Saturday. So let's continue to understand what the question is saying that, right? So we'll break down this problem into some steps and then you will understand not just the code, but we'll also understand the intuition. Okay. So let's understand what is the question is saying that. So let's pause this video and go through the problem statement. Okay. So we have given a 2d array that is called coordinates right and its size is n into 2 means n into 2 means uh, each element contains two pairs right each element will contain two pair right and so if you observe this this is the number of elements we have here but each element contains two pairs and that is already seeing n into 2 so it represents the coordinates of n points in an infinite Cartesian plane. You know the Cartesian plane. This is called the Cartesian plane, right? So in the Cartesian plane, uh, there are n points we have given. So these are the points. These are the points we can say in the Cartesian coordinates, right? Cartesian coordinates is nothing but the 2D array. Okay. So we have to find the matrix. We have to find the uh, maximum area of triangle. What we have to find? We have to find the maximum area of triangle with its corner corners at any three element from the chords such that at least one side of the triangle is parallel to the x-axis and y-axis right and so formally it uh, if the maximum area of such triangle is a will return to into a okay so we can say what we have given first of all we have given the array right it's a uh, uh, list of 2d coordinates and our goal is to select any uh, three points right to form the triangle right so if we will have three points so we can form a triangle like this right so but the twist is at least one side of the triangle must be parallel to x-axis or y-axis as you can see it is parallel to what is the parallel parallel means like this right so at least if this is x coordinate or this is y coordinates right so at least one should be in the parallel of x axis or the y axis right it should be there and finally we have to return twice the maximum area let's suppose this triangle have a area is 1 by 2 into base into height right so we have to this is your area so you have to multiply with 2 it means if you do multi you know the uh, 2 into 2 right it will become what b into h base into high and this is we have to return in the output if it is not the case we'll return uh, minus 1 right if not such so triangle exists we'll return minus 1 and uh, the triangle cannot have a zero area it should be some area is there right i hope you understand so let me recap again uh, what i done means uh, the area of triangle right and understand the geometry right behind this problem right so let's suppose this is your triangle right and you know the area of triangle is 1 by 2 into base into height right you know that so this is the area of the triangle what is this area of triangle right this is the formula geometry formula right but since we are asked to return 2 into area so 2 into area is 1 by 2 into base into height right so we'll multi we'll uh, do uh, 2 into 2 we'll get cut and then it will become what b into h so this is your what base into height right um, it will become the uh, you can say we have to return 2 into a right 2 into a so this will become b into h so all we need to do right what to find the triangle and how we will find the triangle with respect to this formula so we know the base right between the two points with the same x or y axis right either this one or this one will think so this is the parallel one right in this case if you observe that this is the 
palindrome one right with the x x uh, y axis right and uh, if some triangle is there maybe let's suppose if this will be like this right so it will become the parallel to x axis this is parallel to y axis and this is parallel to x axis but this is not parallel so we can say we can uh, say y axis this is uh, the parallel right so this is your base and this will this will be your core, become your height and this will become uh the third point third uh base right so we have to find the third point that is the farthest way to give a height which one the which will be called the height one right that we have to find one more thing you should understand uh what qualifies a triangle valid right so let's uh draw two points with the same x same x and third far away right let's suppose we'll take two points Two points will take right so let's say uh we'll call it let's suppose consider this example itself leave it let me clean it so let's suppose uh we'll take two points that share the same x for example if we'll talk about one one and this one two right so it share what the x-axis at here right so if it is zero this is one right so at one we are getting two points one 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 two right it means the point that we have taken one one and one two it shares the same x axis right at this one point right there can be two there can be three right like that but at this point if you observe this x uh, at one right it shares the same x point right means the, these two points like one one uh, and one two it shares the same points right so this gives us a vertical base right what gives you vertical base this point that is we calling one one and one two this gives you a vertical base of length one right how will you get the length you know one one you know the first coordinate is one one another component is one two right if you'll do minus right what is the uh, uh, condition you you know the uh, Mantam distance, right? How are you going to find from the two uh, two coordinates? You remember the I think two or three days ago I have uh, click, uh, uploaded a video where we have understand the Manhattan distance, right? So how how are you going to find it? So one minus one absolute you will take plus two minus one, right? So here you will get zero and here we will get what one. So it is become one, right? It means uh, the the vertical length vertical vertical uh, base length is one right and so we get if x will share right if x will share uh, the two points right for example we have one one and one two right so it will give you a vertical base of length one understand it's very easy okay let me clear it now think if we take a third point that is uh, not uh, let's suppose give me one second if we take the third point uh, 3 2 right so the 3 2 uh, we can get a height of what 2 this is the height of 2 right so the area is become what 1 into 2 means we will get 2 right if we'll consider when 3 and 2 we have already considered 1 1 and 1 2 we will consider 3 2 what we will get 1 into 2 it will get, get what 2 because this is base and this is your height right and so you are getting what 2 so the key is to find the pair of points with the same x that is called vertical base right or same y in the horizontal base just opposite you can say then we will find a third point that gives you the largest possible distance in the other directions right so this gives you uh, like uh, the triangle is valid or not valid right so if we'll talk about uh, the plan how we are going to solve it right so let's suppose we will group the point first of all we should group the point with uh, x and y right we will do what we'll group it 
group will group this point x and y right then in a step two what we should do for each x right uh that has at least two plus points right two plus points have from a vertical base let's suppose for this case right we have what one one and one two right we have so if we we'll consider this one one and two two right means we should have at least two plus points right if for each x for each x if we have two plus points right to form a vertical base for vertical base right similarly for the uh, height right then we will do what we have to find the farthest third point that is the horizontal for the height means we have to find the height in the th in the next step what we should do we'll do the same for y group right we have to find the horizontal base vertical height we can say and we will track the uh, maximum area right maximum area we have to find right and we will return as a result you know 2 into a we will do and we will return it okay so let's suppose first of all uh, we will go through this code right so understand we will find the n number of coordinates we will find right so let's suppose this number of coordinates is okay so first of all let's suppose we have the coordinates like this 1 1 1 2 3 2 and 3 3 right like this we have so we'll get number of coordinates here right means we have to find three points that form a triangle where at least one side is parallel to x-axis or y-axis in that case we'll return what 2 into area you know what is the area is right so what what we will do we'll create these uh, you can say uh, class variables right you can say and we'll take x map y max all x and all y right these are important to do that right means if we want to list of uh, y right we'll keep it and the y area right in, in x area right we have to keep in the x right opposite opposite everything we will the x will map x and the list of y's right we can say what how, how we have to map x we have to map all all or you can say uh, sorry list list of uh, y's right all the list of y's similarly we'll do for y list of all x and then we have all x and all y means all the unique value of x and all the unique value of y right then then we'll uh, traverse for all the coordinates right so think that uh, we have all these coordinates we will get the x coordinate y coordinates uh, let me zoom a little bit okay so we'll get the x coordinate and y coordinates here and then you will compute this values right so once you will operate this value you will have the x map value y map and all this processing is done so you have the data like what x map will contain one uh, the key one if you'll find you will get one two if key three will get you will get two three right similarly for the y map you will get what one two three you will get one one three and three so if you'll talk about all the x values is one three and all the y values is one two three right so now we will map uh, on the x side we'll go for all the entries of the x right x map and you will get the x right here now just think x equal to what uh, 1 right when x is equal to 1 what we will do right x map contain these two data right so first entry will come for this one 1 2 right when x equal to 1 what we can say uh, let me write here okay So, the very first case is there is two value for the x is there, right? Means we have what? Uh, one, 1 map to 1, 2, right? Line number 19, right? Then this will be our first case when the case x equal to 1 means the key x equal to 1, you have the value set is y value is 1, 2, right? Y set is 1, 2. It means can we form the vertical base? So, how we are going to find 2 minus 1 we will do, we will get 1 get the height from the farthest x 
other than 1. How we are going to do? All x is 1, 3, right? So height will become what? 1 minus 3 is 2. It means if you will do multiply base into height, 2 into area, right? You will get what? 1 into 2, we will get 2. So the answer is 2, right? Similarly, we will do for uh, when k is equal to another row. x is equal to 1, another we have 1, 3, right? So when x equal to 3, the y set is 2, 3, right? So let's suppose in the next case we have x equal to 3 and y set is 2, 3. This time we'll get base 3 minus 1 is 1 and we'll get height like this. We'll get area 1 into 2 and you will get the max answer uh, is 2. It means you have both cases you will get the answer, right? And each cases you will get the answer, right? So it means in the in the case 1 when x equal to 1 you will get the answer to when case 2 x equal to 3 you will getting the answer also 2 right it means you have in both cases you are getting answer 2 right idea is 2 okay now in the step 3 what we need to do similarly we'll do for uh, horizontal basis let's try the horizontal basis to do the same thing what you need to do you will traverse all the elements of pi map right means we are going to try the horizontal basis same as y right so for that you have to loop over y map right when we are going to try the horizontal basis means we'll do the same thing as we have done for the y right so now we'll loop over the y map right and you will get all the elements of y here right similarly you compute this thing and you will uh, get the max value of uh, idea so let's understand like uh, with the example right so we in the case one we have y equal to one y equal to two and y equal to three right right you have what one two and three set is one one three and three right and all the values are of the uh, y is one two three right so three cases will be there right so where y equal to one will get the x list is one so we can say size is less than 2 so we'll skip it right then we'll check y equal to 1 so x value is coming 1 3 means 3 minus 1 is 2 right basis become what 2 height we will find how uh, like this 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 3 will getting 1 means area is coming 2 into 1 so the max area is coming 2 so we can select this so this case will work but another case will also not work right because y equal to 3 so we have to skip this right so we can say that uh, this base will work right in this case uh, this case will work when y equal to 2 and the value is 1 3 right so this will work for us right and we have seen the example also where we have uh, observed that this case will work right so for uh, this is different one right this is different one okay so we can say that this will work 1 3 okay and uh, the final step is we'll return what the answer what is the answer is there right to find the answer you have to find the max which which which, which is max right so each case you will find the max right and you will get the answer here okay i, I hope you understand if you have any doubt please ping me in the comment box and let me know in the comment section that you have understand right so to summarize this what we need to do just understand what we have done right so first of all uh, we found the multiple triangles right and from there we have to find the uh, vertical base x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 right then we'll find what vertical base x equal to 3 and area is 2 and the horizontal base y equal to 2 and area is 2 so we'll get all the area right and you will get uh, uh, the all the area is 2 the max is 2 and so we'll return the max area as 2 here okay okay so that's all we have in this video thank you guys thank you for watching this video thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and let us know what you want to learn next in the comment below and thank you thank you for watching this video